Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Steel City Noise. Right, Happy New Year, everybody. It's done nothing but rain since the New Year kicked off over where I live. So I thought I'd do a video to cheer myself up and we'll do the giveaway, shall we? So, right, what can you win? You can win any Arthur Wright knife in my collection. So the beauty of this is Arthur Wright do these small runs of unique covers and they're probably a bit hard to get they don't do small batches and then once they're gone they're gone so i'll give you everybody the chance internationally to probably pick up one that uh now some of these are new i've not used the twisted assisted yet i don't think i've used this etric and olive wood so they're brand new but if you want one of from my collection i'll tidy it up i'll give it a real good clean uh alcohol wipe it whatever you want it'll be hygienically and beautifully put together and sent out to you but I just thought I'd give you a chance then. So whoever wins, give me an email. I'll email you a, a list of knives you can pick from. And then I'll get it out to you. And then also, what I thought I'd do, I'll give you the choice out of two slips. Um, you can have this otter, well, it's like a sheaf, I would say. This beautiful otter sheaf, brand new, still in the packaging. Um, and then, or one of the twisted assisted slips. So one or the other you can have. So this is pretty cool. It's like got a modern interpretation of a uh, slip because it's got a clip on it, but also it's got this unique feature where you can put it on your belt and have it scout carry. So I've got a brand new one here, not taken out of the packaging. Um, so you can have the choice out of either of them. Plus I'll probably chuck in some other little Sheffield knives along the way as well. So all I want you to do is um, in the comment section, Put I'm in, in brackets. Can you put where you are in the world? Just more out of interest for me. Obviously, you don't have to be that specific, but, you know, county, state, whatever, place, location in the world. I just find it quite interesting. And then uh, uh, lets me know a little bit more about yourself. Uh, also, there is one other stipulation. So we've got a guy that we all know called Mikey Newman in the community. He started doing shorts. He has got a real big knife addiction problem. He buys so many knives, and I want to capitalize on that by making him do long-form videos and see them all. So I keep trying to, uh, I think we all do, I know Paddy and everybody's tried to get him to do some long-form videos, but if you if you can subscribe to me is one of the terms to enter the competition, also go over to him and give him a sub as well and try and uh, egg him on a bit to get his long-form video done. So he's a really funny guy. Uh, hopefully he can transfer that into his videos as well. So it's always good to have a giggle in it. So, right, let's talk about Arthur Wright. Uh, I don't want it to be a massive video. So now Arthur Wright has been going around since 1947. So in Sheffield terms, uh, quite a young company in certain respects when you look at some of these long historic companies. Uh, but they have, you know, they've had a few owners. Uh, uh, I, I'll tell you why I love them. I love them because the price point and because of what they're offering. So this is like a proper working knife. It's such a real, it's a knife for life. You could have one of these. It will last you a lifetime. It really, they're really well built. And they're just really affordable. So they're just a really good knife to sort of collect. Um, I'll give you a little, because my collection is nothing compared to. So I'll do this series where we're going to sort of put the spotlight on people's collections in the community. And the next person hopefully will be here ranking. And I hope you don't mind, Ian. He sent me this picture and I just want to show you it because this is his Arthur Wright collection. And it is amazing. Look at all these he's got. So just give you a quick tease there. But yeah, I was in awe when he first sent me this. Uh, but yeah, brilliant collection there. But yeah, all for right for me, when I first started collecting them, it felt like they did three different covers. They did like a basic, like rosewood. They did a mid-range sort of buffalo horn. And then they did the more premium stag covers. Um, but yeah, since then, look at what they've been chucking at us since then, really. So um, it's, you know, they're coming on leaps and bounds as far as I'm concerned. And they're definitely a company to watch in 2024. So the company's owned now by Michael Harrison. Michael Harrison was a die maker. He was third generation cutler. He does this amazing thing. And I think uh, Ashley Wright said uh, in a previous interview that um, because of, he's a die maker, um, he has these transferable skills and one of the transferable skills he has for cutlery is he does this on the back springs, which they call chasing, which is essentially hand chiseling. 
So uh, this, the liners here, the brass liners, they are actually uh, filed in to make this pattern. But this vine pattern here is hand chiseled in. And they, like I say, they call it chasing. But look at it. It is absolutely stunning. And really just a, just something like a nice skill to have <laughs> within the company, isn't it, really? But absolutely brilliant. And you can have that one. If you want that one, like you say, they do a lot of different patterns. Should we go through the patterns now? So obviously I've got probably a representation there, but I'll chuck them up on the screen because it might be a bit clearer. So they do the Barlow. Now their Barlows, everyone does make the comment that their bolsters are slightly smaller than your typical Barlow, but to me... I think they just look brilliant. I like the, um, I like, I generally like their Barlows. I think they're brilliant. They do a Senator, which is the one I just showed you there with it, uh, but they do that in some beautiful covers as well. They do a Swayback. Now, the Swayback, they do have a couple of different um, sort of knife, uh, different uh, blade shapes for that. So they do a Lamb's Foot, they do a small and a large in the Swayback. Uh, they also do um, a, what they call a Tickler, which is the Warncliffe. Uh, and then they do a farmer. Uh, I think the farmer's also in the sway back. Now the farmer's like a ram's foot. And I need to get one really. I keep meaning to pick one of them up for the collection. They do the etric. They do a, like a standard pruner. And then they do a peach pruner. And then they do my favourite, the spear point. So now uh, within those patterns they also do some with double blades obviously uh, in there. Uh, but they don't just do folders. So they do fixed blades. So they do a bushcraft knife. They do a Bowie knife, they do maritime slash boating knives, uh, and they do the Scottish, uh, and I keep, I always struggle to pronounce this, and it's not hard to pronounce, it's just when I see it written down, I can never, uh, but also they look after the lefties as well, so they do left hand opening knives as well, so, and they do a range of kitchen knives, I, I think, as well. But um, yeah, so they've got a lot of things um, within their company that they uh, they have their own website. I'll just show you that quickly there. Um, so you can buy directly from them. And then they obviously work with a lot of other um, shops and sites. They do, so the ones that do the small runs, I, I think I've picked most of mine up on Moonraker. Uh, I'm just randomly pointing. <laughs> I was looking at my notes. Sorry, but yeah, I, I mainly pick mine up off Moonraker knives. So that's one site to uh, always uh, check for these small runs of our right knives. So right, so like I say, I try to do a bit of a deep dive. Now, when I do uh, sort of research into Sheffield Cutlers, the first place I go is this phenomenal site, and it's called Knife. Name on a knife blade, but the actual site is called www.hawleysheffieldknives.com, and I'll put a link to that uh, down below. And it's a one stop uh, site, really, for any sort of historic stuff within Sheffield, any historic brand. It's such a wealth of uh, information on there. So this is what I found about Arthur Wright. Now, considering they've only been around since 1947, as you can imagine, uh, there, there probably is more information they could put on here. And I'm sure, um, and I wanted to speak to them directly. I left a few messages. I've really struggled to uh, get hold of them. What, what you should realise, I think, a bit is about, um, how can I say this without being really generalised? Um, so in over in the UK, it's... Uh, like a different breed, really. Uh, they're not... They're Northerners. <laughs> Northerners are like no-nonsense, really down to earth, really decent people. They're not very flashy. They don't do a lot of advertising <laughs> and things like that. Um, so, yeah, um, they're probably too busy grafting away to speak to the likes of me. But, uh, yeah, I tried to call them to get a bit more information from them personally, but just didn't man manage to get through. But obviously, being Christmas as well... So, but yeah, I found that a bit with some of the Sheffield companies. Egerton Group's quite easy. They're very approachable, very easy to get hold of. Uh, and really, I spoke to a, a really good guy at that company, but I struggle a bit with the smaller companies, but we, we'll get there. We'll get there. But um, some of the research I did find was this brilliant article in Gunmark 
uh, magazine uh, and the guy that did the article actually went and visited them and had a tour around the, the factory and that's back when John Mailham had them so that was the previous owner now jo John Mailham he comes from a bit of a pedigree really so he's the descendant of Mailham and Yeomans that's a, a company that's been going around since 1876 so he's a descendant from that, that uh, from that family so he owned them for for a while and and that's the at the time that this gun mart uh, magazine was um, uh, this article was written. So that was in two thousand eighteen. And the piece, uh, the information that I took from that article really was the fact that fifty percent of the workforce were under thirty. And I love hearing that. I love. I love hearing the fact that they're taking on apprentices. So Ashley Harrison was an apprentice there, and then he had an apprentice. He had Beth, who's uh, just come out of her time. And I love hearing it, because I'm an engineer myself, so I did an apprenticeship. We've got a lot of young boys and girls with us at the moment. Um, they're going through their apprenticeship in my company. I, I, I like being a part of it, and I like sort of uh, trying to teach them stuff that I obviously got taught. It's just really nice, really heartwarming. It makes you really proud. I really enjoy hearing that, and it's good that we're getting some young blood into the um, sort of the industry, really. So it's really, like I say, brilliant to hear. Uh, talking about Ashley Harrison and Beth, two brilliant videos that took place, I think, last year. Um, it probably, I think Ashley Harrison's one was the back end of 2022. It might have been the beginning of 2023, but Paddy Potato Peeler did have them on their po his podcast. Would you call it a podcast? You know what I mean. He interviewed Beth and Ashley, and to, for me, that was some of the best uh, videos on YouTube. I, I must have watched them both a few times now. I just really enjoyed them and i appreciate uh, paddy doing that and it was it was brilliant to and, and they both come across as just real decent human beings just really charming people really enjoyed sort of uh listening to them and uh ashley's was set uh actually in a workshop and it, it took you on a bit of a tour of some of the equipment and shown a bit of light sort of on that chasing and things like that it was really really interesting viewing it was such a good watch um, uh, if you like half right knives, I'd push you in the direction of slick slices. If you're new to this, you, this is you know it's more for the people that are new. If you've been collecting for a while, you'll know who slick slices is. Um, he's an absolute legend, and he's done. He's probably the first person that sort of shown the light on half right, and um, he's done held them accountable on quality and all sorts of stuff. He's got some phenomenal videos on his channels of half right knives, but. Um, yeah, so just a bit of a deep dive then, really. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm looking at my notes. So yeah, I mean, like I say, because there's such a, there's not, I couldn't find a great deal of information. And if anybody's got any information, put it in the comment section because I learn, I really do love learning about these companies. So um, I found this out. So it's called Arthur Wright and Sons. The son was actually called Arthur. So. <laughs> It's just little bits like that. I love it. Love any information. If you've got any more information, please put it in the comment section. So, but yeah, I just thought I'd do a giveaway, but then I thought we'd just have a bit of a chat about off right as well. So, wishing you all a happy new year. I hope you all have a happy and healthy 2024, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.